on the lower. If we were to take this just for giggles. Put that in there like that. It's gonna push up on the thingy. Okay. Or if it and then even if it tip pivots up, it's gonna be in the way. Okay. Whereas if we have it in the upper. shim out, they would droop down. If we were to put the thick one in, they'd toe in. Okay, we're going to deviate from the manufacturers or the instructions that came with the kit. The kit says that they have this fast camber mounting system that includes this bolt and this two different sizes of spacers that you can install whether you want it to be up or down while you're riding or towed in or towed out while you're riding. And they tell you to install the bolt prior to mounting it in the bracket, the clevis bracket. Well, we did the, the left peg already, and it was tough to uh, get everything lined up with the spring installed. So this time we're going to try it without the camber bolt installed, and it makes things much simpler. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead 
prior to installing the camber bolt and we'll get the spring mounted up here. Um, if you're going with the upper or the standard mounting set, the chrome spring goes on the right, the gold spring goes on the left. If you're doing the lower mounting position, or the low boy as they call it, I believe the chrome goes on the left and the gold goes on the right. So we've got it in the standard position, we've got the chrome spring here. You get it installed as such, and we can get it lined up with the pin much easier than when the bolt's in the way. It's under quite a bit of tension when the bolt's in the way. On this side, we need a couple mounting shims that are provided with the kit. I'm going to hold this one in place with an awl. I've got another one coming in, and I'm going to put that one on the back side, and we'll get everything lined up here. And that's just holding the whole assembly in place. To get it better lined up, I'm going to use, let's make sure I've got that, yep. I'm going to use this center punch, or this punch, to get the whole system lined up and in a better alignment. It's pretty close to the clevis pin here. With that in place, we can just follow it straight down the hole and everything's in line. So now, we still have plenty of room to install the camber bolt behind the peg to keep it where we want to. And now we're going to go ahead and apply a little bit of thread sealant or thread locker here with the spacer that we've chosen. We're using the smaller spacer to make it right level. And we'll cinch that up. Why are we using blue Loctite? We're using blue Loctite instead of the red that came with the kit because the blue Loctite is going to allow us to change out the spacer if we don't like it. Um, the red lo Loctite is a much higher strength. Um, the blue is considered a medium strength, so it will be able to remove reds more considered more permanent. So now that we have it, it's sitting nice and level. The spring's in place. All we have to do is install our washer on the pin, on the clevis pin, and then insert the cotter pin. The kit came with another cotter pin, a new one. But you can see the size differences. The kit cotter pin just doesn't fit in this clevis pin, so we're going to reuse, we're going to straighten that out and reuse the cotter pin that, that came or that was already on the bike. Um, and then we'll install the pegs and it'll be ready to go.